Neo, murmurs Pat in his sleep. He is having a strange dream. In his dream, he has swapped place with Jess. Postman Jess is out on his rounds. He has just arrived at Thompson Ground, so he gets their letters from his van. Jess whistles happily as he walks up to Mrs. Thompson's door. Little Pat jumps down from the van and chairs is after him. After he has given Dorothy her post, Postman Jess claims back into his van. Oh no, cuss little Pat, I can't reach. Little Pat is too small to get into the van. Postman Jess drives off without him. Come back, calls Pat, wait for me. Wake, gasps Pat waking up with a start. He what a dream. I'm glad I'm not a cat. I wouldn't like to be so small. He he, Pat chuckles to himself as he gets dressed for work. Fancy dreaming about being a cat. How silly. Pat goes downstairs. Sarah, Julie and are in the kitchen. Good morning, smiles Pat. You wouldn't believe the funny. Pat stops talking all of a sudden when he sees a tin of cat food waiting for him on the breakfast table. What's this? He gasps. I can't eat this for breakfast, protests Pat. I'm not a cat. It was just a dream, wasn't it? Sarah can't help laughing. I only put the cat food on the table so that you could feed Jess while I make you some toast, says Sarah. Phew, sighs Pat. Thank goodness we haven't swapped, says Pat, giving Jess a large helping of food. It's not easy being a cat, is it?